Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. I designed a fun little novelty DIY kit. You can also sell it, uh, purchase it in uh, a fully assembled form. Uh, but what it is, is it's a little breathalyzer that tells you how drunk you are on a scale of 0 to 9. And uh, so as you can see, there's a seven-segment display on here that communicates with you, an MQ3 alcohol sensor. Now, the MQ3 alcohol sensor, it's a power sucker. That's why when you purchase this kit, you're going to have to get a good, solid battery. I have a Duracell here. Get a, getting a Panasonic or one of those dollar store batteries isn't going to cut it. It won't give you very many uses because this circuit takes about 100 milliamps to operate at 9 volts and that specifically is because of the MQ3 alcohol sensor it actually gets quite warm and so will the regulator FYI because it's regulating down to 5 volts from 9 volts and it just it's a, it's a hot sensor there's a coil in the middle if you're at all familiar with it you know what I'm talking about so I'm on holiday right now actually today's my first day of vacation and uh... well it's not 5 o'clock yet I'm going to have it papsed and I'm going to blow into this. Now, <clears throat> in order to get a uh, a, a real uh, value from this, like an, uh, uh, between 0 and 9, you can't just take a big drink and blow into it because you're going to saturate the sensor. The best way to do it is to have a uh, take, take your, your last sip and then five minutes later blow into the sensor uh, and off you go. So what I'll do is I will open this up but I'm not going to drink from it just yet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set this up, give you a demonstration, a walk through uh, with no alcohol in my breath, and then I'm going to, I am going to saturate the sensor just to show you how, how, how it's all working. I'm going to plug in the battery. And what happens is there will be a quick warm-up state. S-E-L. Select. So now it's waiting for me to press select. Now, if you're using this over the period of the night, you're not going to have to worry about this next calibration taking very long. The first time you power it up, the calibration state takes quite a, takes a, about a minute. So I press the button. It says C A L, and then it goes through a calibration state. When the uh, seven segment display stops doing a figure eight, it will say B L O for blow. At which point you will blow into the sensor. In this case, I will blow in the sensor. B L O. And it keeps it keeps going about about that until it says done, and then it'll give you a value, zero, and it'll blink it and it will reset. Now, um, what's happening during that when it does the figure eight again? What's happening is it's sampling the analog to digital port of my uh, of my pick here about a hundred times, and the algorithm essentially takes the the largest value on the ADC and then go, runs through a decode state. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do it again. I'm just going to take a couple swigs of my beer. As you, you can see, you'll see that the calibration state here, it takes much... Uh, see, there wasn't even one. Now, I didn't blow directly into the sensor. I might not get a great value there. I don't want to block the camera. One. Now it's after taking a sip. If I actually take another sip, I'm going to do it one more time, and I'm going to blow directly into the sensor. But as you, you may have noticed, the second calibration state was very, very short. As soon as you power on the sensor after not powering it on for a long time, it takes a, it takes about a minute to calibrate. So let's try it one more time. I'm going to come in from the other side, really blow hard into the sensor. I know, I know. And uh, and uh, hopefully it'll give me a high reading. If I was drinking wine, it would get a nine for sure. Done. Seven. See, there you go. <clears throat> it's a, it's really a, a lot of fun at parties. If you're interested in drinking game kits, uh, I also have a King's Game kit. And I've got some more fun ones coming in the future. So it'll just run in that same algorithm. Right now, again, if it says SEL, you press the button. <clears throat> runs through the calibration state. Now, after you blew something high into it, the calibration state might be high again, but... See, when I blew into it last night, last time it wasn't legitimate because I'd just taken a sip of beer. You want a real reading? You take it after you have your last sip of beer. Because, again, this just show, goes to show you that I don't have the same amount of alcohol in my breath as I did a couple minutes ago when I took that beer. It was fresh in my mouth. 
Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. It's a fun little kit. Easy to put together. I will put it, be selling it in DIY form as well. Something to note. Um, on the top, there's an analog output that shows that you can splice to that tells you the, that basically has the um, analog output of the MQ3. And there's a 5 bulb port and a ground port. And then there's two I.O. ports in case I want to fool around with this kit in the future. So if you want to splice this to your own circuit, you can do that if you want to. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, happy holidays, everyone.